Oh, it means a, a, a lot to me because of the fact that, you know, I, I was there when, the, you know, they first got started. We were first getting involved in intercollegiate athletics and, and also see so many of my, you know, players have developed into uh, wonderful people, wonderful, you know, professionals. And, um, and this is part of my legacy and for the next generation, which I'm uh, very much concerned about. The landscape has changed, but some things never change, and I would still like to see everybody have the opportunity to participate in sports like field hockey and lacrosse. Town has no color, you know, town has no uh, gender, you know, so my whole thing is, you know, some things have changed, but in order for us to get the best town and give everybody an opportunity, we, we've got to uh, really ha give access to more of public schools and community organizations and um, if we really want to develop, you know, uh, talent. Some of the fondest memories I have of Tina is not on the lacrosse field, but in the hallways when she would ask how your family is doing. Um, she was more concerned with that and how you were doing in the classroom than what we were doing sometimes on the lacrosse field. And I think that was really a special thing. Her winning percentage and multiple national championships speak to her outstanding coaching ability. However, what stands out to me as one of her players was how she brought together a diverse group of players and created a unified team. Tina represents all that's good about women's lacrosse and she really has the ability to bridge kind of the past to the present. Uh, what she did at Temple was truly exceptional and I, I think that over the years it's become very clear that the success of the program here was about Tina and the student athletes she recruited and the team she built. Uh, and I think the extraordinary success they have has not only, um, has truly stood the test of time. She's a role model not only for young black women, professional black women, student athletes, Philadelphians, temple people. All you have to do is just go on the internet and read her history. It's just phenomenal. I mean, the things that she was able to accomplish, being the first black woman to ever coach a collegiate women's lacrosse team, and what she did with that opportunity is, is saying a lot. I certainly have benefited from her legacy, um, just being able to show that women of color can handle these roles when we're provided with the opportunity to, to perform them. Um, so, I mean, there's no question that uh, her influence is, again, felt everywhere you go around Philadelphia. I mean, just look at the honors that she has amassed over the years. I mean, her efforts and her achievements, um, they're, I wouldn't say they're unparalleled, but there are few who have risen as high as she has, especially given the challenges that she's had to overcome. I hope my legacy will be that, um, uh, that the visual photo of me uh, an African-American female uh, being a coach, but not only a coach, but a coach that has, has won, has, has achieved. I mean, it's very difficult to win, you know, a national championship. My, you know, we won three, you know, thanks to all the young ladies who believed in me, who believed in Temple, and were really, and were really um, excited to come and, and really uh, develop a program. So, you know, my legacy would be the fact that uh, they can see somebody who looks like me, who has who have achieved, and that may, might may motivate them. Also, my legacy would be all my athletes, um, many of whom probably would not have had an opportunity to play had it not been for scholarships. You know, uh, the, the athletes that came from rural areas, some athletes who came from non-affluent backgrounds, some came from very affluent backgrounds, but they had an opportunity to play and opportunity to excel, the opportunity to become um, what they wanted to be. Some wanted to be doctors, some wanted to be lawyers, some wanted to be coaches, and they had those opportunities. And the one thing about um, my legacy, I think, with my athletes is the fact that they got a, a chance to really um, uh, associate and deal with and live with all kinds of people. And that's what I think Temple is all about, you know, providing a, an urban experience where you get a chance to, uh, to, um, to really live and appreciate diversity. Mm -hmm.